Yes, you mean the, the Bespoke Gene Therapy Consortium. It's a public-private partnership that is coordinated by the foundation for the NIH. Um, and importantly, the foundation for the NIH is not actually part of the NIH. It's a standalone 501c3 entity that allows us at NIH to work with uh, folks in private industry and under what's called an accelerating medicines partnership. And the Bespoke Gene Therapy Consortium or the BGTC is one of these um, accelerated medicines partnership. It involves 11 different NIH institutes and centers. And I think more than 11 now private companies. Um, and also very importantly, the FDA Center for Biologics led by Dr. Peter Marks, who is a key visionary in setting up the BGTC. Um, and the goal here is to find ultimately to make AAV th technology more accessible to a broader range of diseases because the situation we have now is that although gene therapy could be applicable for many diseases, the industry for, for understandable reasons tends to focus on the most prevalent ones, the most prevalent rare monogenic diseases. Um, but there are many others that could be addressed in the same way, but they're so rare that they have no commercial interest. And so the BGTC is focused on those bringing AAV gene therapy for those diseases that are of no commercial interest currently. But what we hope to do in this program is to streamline the whole process of starting up AAV clinical trials. Um, and in doing so, we hope to change the calculus of what constitutes a disease of commercial interest. So things like streamline the clinical trial startup, a standardized set of analytics for AAV vectors to assess their safety before they go into human beings, a standardized and minimal set of preclinical studies like toxicology studies uh, to assess safety, and a sort of a playbook for setting up gene therapy clinical trials. Uh, with AAV vectors, but I do I do think that some of the things we'll learn from this may be applicable to other types of gene target therapies as well. The focus of the BGTC is really to streamline the process. So what we'd be doing is selecting up to six different rare diseases for uh, our AAV gene therapy um, pilot process to see if to see if we can streamline the, this regulatory path and. Um, at the start, we didn't have any specific disease, and the big question that one of the big questions we had is which disease are we going to choose, rather than just sort of choose ourselves. What we did is we have kind of had an open request for proposals, where different um, entities, patient advocacy groups, etc., propose diseases for inclusion in the BGTC program, and we originally got about 61 applications. And we subsequently cut that down to about 14 or so. And we're now going through the, we asked those 14 to send in more detailed proposals that we're now evaluating and to ultimately get down to the, the top, the, the final six or so. And I, I could probably post a link to that list, um, but includes, and this was on purpose, it includes some neurologic diseases, some eye diseases and some diseases where you have to deliver gene therapy throughout the body systemic delivery to treat either the muscles or um, the liver. And we did that on purpose because to, to sort of test out the streamlined regulatory path, we wanted disease that would require different amounts of AV vector. And as you can imagine, the amount you need for a injection under the retina is very, very small, whereas the amount you need to go systemically is orders of magnitude larger. And so, you know, the process of making those vectors, um, the different processes to try to streamline it all. We, we wanted a diverse set of, of diseases. Mm -hmm.